you ever have a problem where you come up with a lot of ideas, but you can never seem to finish any of them? You ever have that problem? So do I. I think my problem is I don't really have a space to actually write. I just sort of write wherever I happen to be, and that that can be problematic. For instance, I can write on this laptop. The problem is it's a gaming laptop, which means every time I try to write anything on it, I also have a laptop that I sort of use in bed. It's not as powerful as this, so I'm not going to be able to run any games on it, which is nice for distraction purposes, but when I'm in my bed, I'm either about to fall asleep, so I'm not getting anything done, or I actually do start writing, in which case I have no chance of falling asleep anytime soon. So I think what I need is a dedicated space and a computer that's designed for writing. So I sit down there, all I do there is write. Whenever I'm in that space, I'm writing. I think that'll help me out a lot. I have a bit of a knack for computers. As in, I have a lot of them. But I wasn't always that way. I, I wasn't this super hacker as a kid. I had a Windows 3.1 computer for, I don't know, a few weeks. I don't know what happened to it. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I was able to get like Carmen Sandiego and stuff like that to run on it. So it was pretty fun while I had it. But, you know, growing up, um, we didn't really have a really good family computer. In fact, it probably wasn't until the late 90s or just at the turn of the millennium that we actually had a family computer. Normally what we would do is watch TV for entertainment. But when I had to do my homework assignments, you know, in middle school, I would have to go to the library and read through books to find answers to the homework problems, which is awful and incredibly inefficient. So I remember one day my father and I we went to the library and we used a computer with the internet for the first time. And th this was like you stare at the screen, it's like, who is Jeeves? I can, how do I ask Jeeves a question? Wait, I can just type a question in this little box? But how does that even work? I press enter, look, the answer's right there. What is this witchcraft? It was astonishing. Our first family computer, and I remember it. It was this old Dell computer that ran on Windows Millennium. And... You may know a little bit about Windows Millennium. It has an extremely bad reputation. It's dubbed the Mistake Edition. Right now, it's that people argue over whether that or Windows Vista was the worst operating system ever. And if my memory serves me correctly, Windows Millennium was that bad. It crashed all the freaking time. Every time we start up the computer, it's like a 10-minute war in the task manager to kill all the junk processes and viruses. Nothing worked on it. It was really slow, and over time it would just get more and more unstable to the point where it was basically unusual, unusable. Like I said, it's like a 4th of July of pop-ups every time you start it up, no matter what antivirus you use. And at the time, like I said, I wasn't a computer wizard, but I was an only child, and of course somebody has to be the family IT guy which made me the only option, so I kind of had to figure it out as I went along. And I didn't really do that good of a job of it because I had no training. I eventually did get training after high school. I went to a, a trade school that taught IT stuff. So we actually learned how to build computers, you know, install Windows Server, and create an entire network of virtual machines. It was really cool. And at that point, I knew what I was doing. So whenever the family computer had a problem, I could fix it. Eventually, I just built a family computer from scratch, meaning I ordered all the parts individually with the motherboard, the processor, everything like that, and I hooked it all up. 
And that was pretty cool because by then we weren't dealing with Windows Millennium. And even if we were, I knew what I was doing. That computer lasted a pretty long time, if I remember correctly. It only died after the power supply failed, I believe. So that was pretty cool. But I'm still... I still wish I knew what I was doing when we had Windows Millennium because now I know I could have fixed the problems. So we're going to do two things here. Number one, we're going to build a writing workstation. And number two, I am going to redeem child me. So I am going to create a writing workstation using Windows Millennium Edition. That is the goal. Here's my setup, and the star of the show, of course, is the computer. This is a Windows 7 rig I built at least a decade ago. It was meant to be a gaming computer, and it was a really good one. Unfortunately, the graphics card failed. But that's actually good for our purposes, because now I can't play games and distract myself. Underneath, I bought a file cabinet. Here I have all my notepads. I, I like to do most of my writing... Uh, by hand and then eventually type it into the computer. Second cabinet we have all of my folders for my various stupid projects and then down here we have extra paper and folders and labels and stuff like that. Next we've got a desk which I got this from an antique store. It's a really nice desk as opposed to those you know generic like $40 ones you get at Walmart. I can store my writing utensils here, and then I have smaller notepads so I can write on the go or whatever. And then of course I have Pez dispensers because I'm an idiot. And of course I got this nice chair, it's like a better home and garden chair. It's pretty nice. It was a little bit expensive, but it wasn't ridiculously expensive. It's pretty comfortable. It gets the job done. So let's... Shut up. Okay, anyway. This battery's low. I'm just going to leave that in. Oh, oh I, I love Windows 7. I, I, this is probably my favorite operating system. 10 and 11 are pretty good. Uh, 8 was a disaster. Vista was a disaster. XP was fun, but I, I still think Windows 7 is, is better. It's just a shame that it's not being supported anymore. Okay, so here's our virtual machine. We have the writing rig, which will be running Windows Millennium. Nothing's installed yet. So before we begin, i going to pop open the disk drive, which is going to close on me. Can I have it, please? Oh, the disk drive is jammed. Great. Please. Freaking... It's... Di Ugh! All right. See, I, I pressed the button and it just doesn't want to come out. That's okay, because I have a secret weapon. The paperclip. Uh, where is it? Right here, I think. Wow. Can I... The... Oh my god, the paperclip has failed. Oh. Um... There we go. I don't know what that was about. Well, this is going really well so far. Okay, I can... Okay, here we go. Windows and... Uh, I don't want to... Actually, what happens if I do this? Interactive CD sampler, step-by-step... -step okay, this doesn't work. All right, let's find out about other software. Uh, or, or not. Whatever. Okay, now we know it works. Let's start the virtual machine. We're going to boot from CD-ROM. So at least that works. Start Windows setup from CD. Oh, boy. Now, I've been calling this Windows Millennium. You'll notice that it's not how it's spelled in this setup menu. And it actually is meant to be pronounced the way it's spelled, with the M-E being pronounced like the word, which you can see from newspaper articles and stuff like that. I refuse to pronounce it that way because it's stupid, so we'll be calling it Windows Millennium. Wait, I don't have a... I need a boot disk? Oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, that's if I boot from hard disk. Fatal... Okay, that didn't work. Uh, control delete. That locks the host computer. You may have guessed that I don't have a floppy drive on this rig, so I'm going to have to get an image of the boot disk. I, I don't know why you can't just make the CD bootable. It's 1990 freaking 9. Okay. Oh, it does work. Okay, never mind. Oh, yes. I remember this. All right. Uh, we're going to do custom because I want to install everything. 
Now, it would be nice if there were a select all button. I want everything that <laughs> Windows Millennium has to offer. I, I don't even think... Oh, I definitely want that, actually. All right, desktop themes, whatever. We'll explore those. Definitely want the games. Um, multimedia. System tools. Ugh, okay, yeah, I want all of it. There really needs to be a select all button. System resource meter, that sounds pretty cool. Web TV, I don't even know what that is. There we go. And actually, I just noticed that there appears to be two spaces between addition and setup. I know for me... I started out making videos on Movie Maker. I eventually upgraded to Sony Vegas, which is what I'm using for this. And I know a lot of other people started their movie making careers on Windows Movie Maker. It's a really good program for what it is, a, a, a quick free you know, video editor. They also introduced System Restore, which in theory is kind of like a time machine. If your computer is working on June 5th, 2001, and all of a sudden in July 5th, 2001, now you have a bunch of viruses and whatever, you could revert back to the June 5th version of the computer. So all the viruses you got in the interim are gone because you didn't have them yet on June 5th. I think I've... I think I've successfully used System Restore and accomplished that goal once in my entire career. But it's still a pretty cool system. I think we even use it today, although I've, I have not even looked at that or thought about System Restore in a very long time. This is, this is fun. I, I, I really appreciate the irony here. This should work. Windows is now detecting non-plug and play hardware on your computer. I'm really hoping uh, this doesn't just freeze. I don't think it will because we're running a virtual machine. All right, that's succeeded, so that's pretty good. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and read the agreement. All right, here we go. Boot from hard disk, Windows Millennium. This is gonna be great. The, and that didn't work. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, at least we got a little bit further. Updating system settings. Maybe this will work. And that happened. What? Oh, alright. Round three! Come on. Alright, it... Technically... Worked? Alright, so that was a disaster. Okay, um... Ah, beautiful. Okay, well, I, I did get it to work, but... I wonder if it actually works. This desktop I'm not a fan of. I don't know why it defaults to that. Mm, Alright. Whoa, I'm at 16 colors, aren't I? Oh boy, 16 colors. That's, that's, that is not gonna do it. Uh, how do I install the drivers? Am I on the internet now? Well, of course, nothing's going to work because I'm using Internet Explorer 5. Okay, I am getting into Google. Let's try searching for something. Yeah, whatever. Oh, here's a helpful article on how to install. Yeah, sure. And I can't display it. <laughs> Alright, somebody made some custom drivers for this thing, so let's go ahead and install those up. A drive's not... I don't want the A drive, I want this. Okay. Removable media. The updated driver. Next. Uh, yeah, so that's Windows Millennium. Let's take a look at what we've got. We got Windows Update, which will fail. Oh, uh, I think I've been caught in an infinite loop. Um, yeah, that, that, that didn't work. Okay. We've got WordPad, so I can type in, uh, which I guess I can use this to write stuff. 
but I don't even think I get headers and stuff like that on bullet style pack. So we're gonna need to get something better on this. No, we don't have to save. Windows Millennium Edition, what is this? Oh god, this thing. Yeah, this isn't actually a, a video. Okay, I don't, all right, I changed my mind. Stop. There's no stop. I can't right click this. Will you? Okay. Right. Oh my god, that's obnoxious. I can't, because these aren't buttons, and there's no, like, right clicking, so I guess we'll alt F4. Alright, that was annoying. Um, so, uh, uh, okay. So this has to be that. It can't be that, so it's got to be that. So these aren't. It's got to be these three. This one can't be a mine. One, two, three. So it's just... Mm. Oh, it can't be that. There we go. Yeah! Cool guy. All right. So if you're wondering how I did that, this number determines how many mines are surrounding that. So if you're wondering how I did that, this mine... So if you're wondering... So if you're wondering how I did that, this number tells you how many mines are surrounding that particular space. So we know that of these eight spots, one of them, and only one of them, is a mine. And of course it's that one. So here we go. So this number one right here, we have only one mine, and we know that these seven are not mine. So this has to be a mine because that's the only choice. And see with this one, this number two, that means two mines are surrounding it. Well, there are only two spots, so therefore this, these both have to be mines. We see this one, we know that one mine is surrounding it. And we know that this is a mine, which means nothing else surrounding it is a mine. Same way here. So you look for corners, and because we know this is a mine, none of these are mines. Uh, we know that these two have to be mines. This has to be a mine. This has to be a mine because it's the only space touching this, because... These two has already two mines, that's not a mine, because this two, these are the only two options. This two already has two touching it, this one already has one touching it. These are the only two options. These three, there's only three, so that's that. We already have three here, so we know that's not a mine. Boom. Oh. 3D pinball space cadet. Sounds a little glitchy, but that's okay. I haven't actually done anything. And there goes the sound. But, all right. So here's the, oh. I'm so used to Windows 7, you can just drag it on the top and it'll automatically maximize. Okay, you can't do that in Windows Millennium. Oh, right. Word wrap. How do I enable word wrap? There we go. There is something very important that you need to know about Windows Millennium Edition, and uh, there's a reason I'm showing this. So, Windows Millennium Edition does have some support for Java, but you have to keep this in mind. This is key. This hasn't been, you know, designed for weapon systems. So, if you're going to use a Windows Millennium computer to control your nukes, you proceed at your own risk, okay? What did I do? Oh, I enabled word wrap. No. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Can I modify this? Hold on. Um. Does control A not work? Notepad doesn't have a control A. Failure to do so means you are a butthole. There we go. There's the license. So, if you want to use this, you got to accept my new license, and it's right there. We're going to turn this into a proper writing workstation, and uh, that means we can't stick with Notepad or WordPad. So, we have some good features on our writing programs, but I, I just don't think this is quite going to cut it. But I, I do have some software that I believe will be able to help us, and that software has a very special friend that everybody hated including me but you know i've kind of grown to like so we'll uh we'll, we'll see what we can do about that next time
Take care.